I'm Greg Gumbel. Welcome to the Nick at Night Open as we look out from the historic 16th green of golf and stuff in Norwalk, California and find Keith Olbermann. Keith? Bryant, mini golf. As much a part of our TV generation experience as fluffernutter sandwiches or a good game of Twister. It's icons as much a part of our collective memory as a Batmobile or a talking horse. It's rituals as familiar as a Friday night in a beanbag chair. Choosing the club, selecting your color, deciding who keeps score. Even if you didn't win a free game, you got a free lesson on life, love, and mathematics. Now mini golf is the official sport of the TV generation. So Nick at night is here with the big stars, the big shots, the big shoes, the goal, the final hole on Sunday, August 30th. The prize, the coveted free game. Stick with us as the Nick at Night Open continues. We continue our celebration of the official sport of the TV generation with an inside look at mini golf's mystery men. Keith? Greg, let's start off with a question. Who is your favorite player on the mini golf tour? Larry Storch. David Brinkley. Ow! Ah, but who is your favorite mini golf caddy? Not such an easy question, is it? In fact, the caddies are often the forgotten men of miniature golf, but behind the scenes and behind the pin, caddies are behind some of the biggest success stories on the mini tour today. To get a closer look, we outfitted caddy Chaz Webb with the latest state-of-the-art caddy cam during yesterday's first round. Hmm, what do you think, Chaz? Go with the putter. Putter, yeah, yeah. This shoe is giving me fits. Putter. Putter. Is it a boy or a girl? It's uh, a girl, I think. What do you think? Hunter. Stay tuned as the Nick at Night Open continues. We continue with our coverage of the official sport of the TV generation, where we find Janice Pennington in the rough outside of the Taj Mahal. Keith? Greg, whoever said it's not polite to point has never met the Price is Right's Janice Pennington, a professional gesture who points accurately, fairly, and with a remarkable economy of movement that makes her the princess of mini golf. When this gal's on the green, there's no question about what she'll be wearing, which club she'll be using, or how much a three-pack of her favorite balls costs. It's this kind of no-nonsense determination that makes Janice Pennington one of the great mini golfers. Wait, what do I win? And the gallery is applauding here, Greg, as Janice whiskers it in to stay three under par and correctly chooses which item is lower priced, this block of wood or this party-sized serving of beluga caviar. I'm Keith Olbermann. Stay tuned for more from the Nick at Night Open. Back at the Nick at Night Open, where we find Jefferson star Roxy Roker in a bit of trouble with a tough lie on six, the mini farm. Keith, when you think of Roxy Roker, you think naturally of her role as George Jefferson's neighbor. You think New York City, taxis, skyscrapers. Is this urban background hurting her on this pastoral hole? I, I don't think so, Greg. She did fine here yesterday, but I believe that she's lost some of the concentration on this go-around. I've been getting a little input from the crowd behind me here, and it might be true, might be true that what's needed is a little, a little provocation. Roxy, can we be of any help to you? Yeah, yell at me like George Jefferson. Well, all right, you're, 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 you're a noisy nincompoop neighbor with a helpless husband. Phenomenal, Roxy Roker showing the kind of performance that you'd expect, the true grit from an actress who had to spend 10 years absorbing George Jefferson's abuse with a uh, clean hook past the silo to remain an even par on the Nick at Night Open. Stay tuned. The Nick at Night Open to benefit reading is fundamental. Brought to you by Doritos brand tortilla chips. In between holes at Golf and Stuff in beautiful Norwalk, California. Let's take some time to learn the language of mini golf, body English. While it may look like nothing more than a bad case of ants in the pants, body English, when properly executed, can actually oscillate the z-axis gravity vectors that control your ball's spin and velocity. To find your style, study the pros on the tour and choose the technique that makes the most sense for your game. And stay tuned as the Nick at Night Open continues. Back to our week-long coverage of the official sport of the TV generation. Let's go now to Golf and Stuff, where Michael Warren faces a tough test on the historic seventh hole. Is there a hole up there? Yeah. Where? Greg, it takes a real pro to play mini golf. I don't know anything about this game. Uh, as a matter of fact, when they said miniature golf, I thought it was going to be with a bunch of midgets. Michael Warren, modest to a fault, but always willing to share his mini golf mastery with up and coming pros. See, if you aim for the middle, the, the pull, the magnetic force from inside this. Hey, how you doing? There's some people in there. There's all kind of little people in here. They, yeah, Michael they Warren with a special right talent for mini golf. Oh, you see, there's a little guy, a little bitty guy in there. 
who's this about this big? And this is Keith Olbermann. Stay tuned as the Nick at Night Open continues from Norwalk, California. Back in the studios as we take another look at a hopeful pitch by Janice Pennington that slowly but surely succumbs to the irresistible force of gravity, leaving her at even par. Let's look at upcoming Nick at Night sports programming. Following our mini golf open, it's our mini horse tournament already in progress. Day two of the stirring and tasting marathon. And we'll wrap up the evening with the Nick at Night funny car derby. Stay tuned for more of the Nick at Night open. I'm Greg Gumbel. Let's go to historic golf and stuff for an update from Keith Oberman. Keith? Greg, as you can see, Ken Osmond, better known as Edward Eddie Haskell, has just knocked a sweet five-footer here on 11, the mini Alamo, to pick up a birdie two and a share of the lead. It wasn't that easy earlier today when Ken, in what can only be described as a vintage Eddie Haskell performance, weaseled his way to a disastrous triple bogey on three, the Jungle Hut. Getting better. Something wrong with the hole. And while Eddie Haskell is famous for saying nothing's a dirty trick if it's funny enough, there was nothing funny about this final shot. Oh, wow. Oh. As Wally Cleaver once remarked, you find a fink like Eddie Haskell once every couple of hundred years. For the sake of this sport, let's hope so. And stay tuned as the Nick at Night Open continues. Golf holes. Roxy Roker of the Jefferson says to beat the big shoe, you've got to think like a shoe. To beat the windmill, simply pretend you're in Holland, says Michael Warren. Nothing bad ever happens there. On the mini farm, don't pause to pet the animals, suggests the new Leave it to Beavers, Ken Osmond. There'll be time for that later. Stay tuned for more good advice as the Nick Night Open continues. Back in the studios as we recall the eagle that put Michael Warren three over par for a tentative hold on second place. Let's take a look now at Nick at Night sports coverage following our mini golf open. Later tonight, the fifth round of the professional stewing and worrying tournament. Unlikely that Bub will be knocked out of first place as that competition heats up. Followed by international head knocking with reigning masters of the sport, Bill Cosby and Robert Cull. Stay tuned for more of the Nick at Night open. Between holes at the Nick at Night open, let's take some time out for a short lesson in a last resort, cheating. It was in his role as Eddie Haskell that Ken Osmond learned cheaters never prosper without hours of practice. Some of Ken's favorite techniques include substitution, flattery. Might I say, that's a very lovely outfit you're wearing, Miss Pennington. And of course, chucking your opponent's ball. Stay tuned as the Nick at Night open continues. The pain, the broken fingernails. Janice Pennington has paid her dues, but as she'll tell you, the price is always right when you're a winner. Congratulations on winning the Nick at Night Open and, of course, the coveted free game. Well, thank you, Keith. You must feel like, like a hundred bucks. A uh, thousand bucks. A uh, million bucks. All right, congratulations. <laughs> From Golf and Stuff in Norwalk, California, I'm Keith Olbermann. Thank you for watching the Nick at Night Open.